arriving in the Orange Bowl, it's a big stage going up against a tough Florida opponent. What is it like in the trenches going against teams like Clemson and Florida, and how does that compare to some of the other opponents you guys um, have faced? You know, when you, when you go against those guys, they, everyone on the offensive line is big and strong and athletic, so um, it's just real big focus on doing your assignment and your technique to the best of your ability because they're just they're good. You know, they do their assignment technique. Speaking to that unbroken growth, you guys had Nick Jackson step in there, and of course with Jordan Mack out, that gave the younger guys some time to develop. How did you see that development play out through this game and even the latter half of the season? Uh, yeah, you know, those guys worked really hard in practice, and uh, you know, just seeing them develop throughout the season, which is not always an easy thing to do, obviously being a younger guy and uh, having a guy like Jordan in front of you can, that plays every single snap until you know, he was, unfortunately got injured. But um, yeah, you know, the way that those guys developed, I think, you know, Josh Ahern and T.C. Harrison, obviously uh, Nick Jackson, I thought Nick played really hard tonight and made some great plays, and I was, you know, just really proud of him. Were there any schematic adjustments at halftime to stop that running game, or was that more about making the tackles when you had to make those tackles as a unit? Yeah, I think wrapping up and making the tackles were big for us, and, you know, we didn't really make any huge adjustments because we had a good scheme in place. It was just, you know, executing, and uh, I think we did that at a high level, higher level in the second Wide receivers have really turned into a strength of this Cavaliers offense. What is it going to be like no longer playing alongside the other talented players that you've been going to battle with every single week now? Yeah, um, I'm excited for the guys we have coming up. We have a lot of talented, talented recruits and talented first, second years that haven't had a time to shine because we had seniors playing on the field. So um, I'm excited to get to work with those guys. With Brendan, start getting start this this winter and spring going to be an important time for us. And I'm super excited to see what the guys can do because they're very talented. I felt like you really improved and took a big step up midway through this season, became one of Bryce Perkins' go-to targets. How do you plan to continue that? What are some of the things you're looking to improve personally this offseason? I think just being a bigger leadership role for the offense as a whole, and then again, just getting on the same page with the quarterback. I think you know what Bryce and I had was um, you know integral to our relationship and how we play in the field, um, which was a trust, a lot of trust. So I think with, with Brandon coming up, um, we got to build trust as soon as we can. So as soon as we get back on campus, we're, we're going back at it.